What's going on Half Tribe and welcome back to Journey. We're here for week two for our body weight flow. This is gonna be workout number seven. So we've got two parts of our workout today. Paolo's gonna take us through part one and I'm gonna take us through our playtime, which is part two. So welcome back, let's do this. Body weight and flow today. Today part one is gonna be three rounds long. Our scheduling of work is gonna be 40 seconds of work followed by 20 seconds of recovery. We have our clock ready to roll in the back, so that's gonna keep us honest here. Now, we're gonna have four little bullet points. In each one of these bullet points, we're gonna be moving our bodies, doing a little combo. Something, some of the things that we've seen in week one, we're gonna be doing again, right here, right now. But we're gonna be adding some spices to it. So, first piece, ready baby? I'm ready. I'm gonna show these guys what's gonna happen here. Okay. First little combo, loaded bare front steps. And while you see what's going on here with me, Check out Hannah, she's mobilizing her wrist, getting ready for it. So load a bare front step to spinal weight. From here, we're gonna bring the hips all the way back to your heels, stretching your body out on the floor, knees are still hovering the ground. We're going to project the body forward, step your right foot outside your right hand, pick up that right arm and off your chest up. Come back, do it again on the left, come back. And then we're gonna go for that spinal weight, which is elevate the hips, once the hips are all the way up, roll your spine one little bit at a time. Your hips come down to the ground, you look up, tuck that chin, push down the ground, separate the shoulder blades and return. So we're gonna go right, left, spinal wave, right, left, spinal wave for 40 seconds. That's number one. Number two, crab kick. We're gonna kick on the right, kick on the left and use the crab extension. Now here we go. I'm showing exactly what we're gonna be doing, what's on the workout, and as we progress through it, if you're following me on the beginner for the body and flow weight, I'm gonna give us a few tricks that we're gonna use to make sure that we, you know, ease ourselves into the movements. So, crab kick position, this is the crab position. If you look from the side, I look like a capital M. Feet on the ground, hands on the ground. Ideally, my fingers are gonna be pointing backwards. I'm gonna open up my chest, curve my lower back. That's my initial position. From here, crab kick, we're gonna pick up Left foot and right hand, opposites, right? Tap, return, tap, return. And then we're going to do the same thing, but the extension that we did on week one. Pick up the right hand, full extension of the hips, arm to frame the head, look down, come back. Switch hands, full extension of the hip, arms to frame the head, and come back. So we kick right, we kick left, extend and extend. Anything to add here, baby? No. Remember, if you're doing with me, we're gonna be keeping sometimes just activation, but don't worry about it, we're gonna to get to it. Number three, load a bare squat to load a bare front step through. So, last week's flow, we went from this position to a bare squat. From here, we squat one. So, keep your feet vertical, perpendicular to the ground, elevate your hips, come back down. Now. Similar to the front step, but this time around, we're gonna step a little wider. So we can open up the gate and we can thread that leg through. Boom, come back. <sighs> step left, kick through, come back. And then we go again for that bear squat. So bear squat, front step through, front step through, and that's it. Finally, we're gonna go for the turn under to a break dancer. Here, we're gonna begin on that crab position. Same position that we had on the exercise I show you a minute ago. Now from here, we're gonna go for the turn under. We're gonna pick up left foot and right hand and that leg travels under us. As we travel, we're gonna keep following through with a break dancer. We've done a few of these in the workouts and then we come back to the bear crawl position. Leg travels under the same way that we got there and we return to the initial position. Then we're gonna do on the right. Pick up right foot, left hand. Leg travels under, keep following through to that break dancer. That's it. That's all we got, baby. Anything to add here? No, I'm excited. <sighs> so I'm gonna be taking them through the intermediate to advanced today, and you're gonna be taking them through the regressions, right? That is right. Awesome, I'm doing my best. I'm gonna be offering the regressions. What I just showed here is exactly what Han's gonna be taking us through. And throughout, just hear me out. I'm gonna drop a few cues that we can do together to make sure that we ease ourselves into the deeper movements of the body weight and flow. All right. Are you ready, baby? Loading. All right, we got five seconds. 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds to recover. Low to bare front step, right, left, and spinal wave. Let's go. Here, 
I'm going to keep my knees on the ground every time I finish that position. Knees on the ground. Step forward. Knees on the ground. And now, knees on the ground. Back to my spinal weight. What you got going on with that, babe? So I'm going for the same thing, trying to get as much range of motion as I possibly can. Trying to get my shoulders as far beyond my wrists as my mobility will allow them to. And on that step forward, I'm going for powerful steps. Bringing my chest up, hips are down low, squeezing a penny between my shoulder blades, and then landing exactly right back where I did before. Making sure that my hips go all the way back and to time. my heels Woo. every time. Okay, that worked. Here we go. Crab position. Here we go, friends. 10 seconds. Find that capital M. Hannah's gonna be going for the kicks that I showed you. If you're with me, if you're doing the beginner here, if you're just getting acquainted, all we're gonna do is pick up right foot and right and left hand and activate. Don't do activate. That. And now we extend with the punch. Hand is going for the arm, wrapping around her head. All we're gonna do is punch. Pick up opposite hand and foot, opposite hand and foot. Punch. When I come here, guys, my ribs, my elbows touch to my ribs. I'm opening up my hips all the way first. Then once I can't go any higher with my hips, that's when I start to frame my head with my hand. Don't forget to look down at that base hand once you're at the top of that range of motion. Three, two, and one. Okay. 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 Body's starting to open. Yeah. Woo! These leggings suck. My belly keeps swapping out. Your belly's beautiful. Oh, man. All right. Loaded bear squats. This time around, instead of doing the front steps, we're going to step and thread that leg through. Ready? So one to one. So one bear squat for every front step through. Here we, Here we go. go. Up. Step right. Kick left. Keeping Up. my heels pointing towards the ceiling. Step left. Kick right. Switching which leg kicks through. Come on. At any point, if you're with me, if you have to rest the knees on the ground, that is totally cool. Look. I'm doing it too. In traveling. We pick up the knees, of course. Come on, five, four, three, two, and one. Shit. Oh, yeah. Ah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Beginning on the crab, we're going to turn under. The reason why we call it under, because that leg has to travel underneath your body. What we're going to do here to begin, pick up the right hand, pick up the left leg. Left leg travels through as you turn your body over. Three, two, go. Which leg are we starting on? Left leg travels under. Now land the left leg. Pivot your body. Kick with the right. That's the break dancer. Come back to crab. Pick up right. Kick. Come back to crab. Find your pace. Find your groove. Once you understand the movement, it becomes hard for you to try to keep an eye on us. Trust yourself, trust your gut. Good. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. I like it. I like that one too. Fuck. Okay, okay, round one is done. We're going back to the top. Woo, nice little combos here. Yeah. Loaded bare front step and spinal wave. This one is one of the perfect movements. I think that you should do it every single day Every single day of your life. That's it. This one <laughs> movement opens up your hips, opens up your spine, preps your body for whatever it is that you got to do. <sighs> Hip the more opener. familiar you become with this movement, the more aware you'll be of your body. Yep. Landing in that same place every single time. <sighs> if there's one movement that I have to choose to perform every single morning upon waking, that'll be this guy right here. Which one? Front step? This little combo. This little combo is amazing. With a hip opener, spine opener, oh, hips. It's amazing. Come on. Work. Trust it. Ah. All right. The legs. All right. Also burns your legs. Dang. It also pushes your mobility on your shoulders. Absolutely. That is for sure. Crab kick. OK. OK. You and I are going to activate by removing the opposites. Hannah is lifting up and kicking. Three, two, go. 
We move the opposites. Up with the opposites. Punch. One thing that I want you to notice, if on that hip extension, if you feel like your heels are coming off the ground, I want you to move your feet forward. Chances are your heels are too close to your butt. And when you try, you have to elevate. We need you flat-footed. Ah, oh, boy. My left shoulder definitely feels a lot more open than my right, and I can have this is great data. My body's talking to me. I'm gonna take my notes and make sure I pay attention to that. Okay. okay. Bear squat to the front, kick through. So check this out. One squat, one kick, return. One squat, one kick, return. Four seconds. If you're with me and you're more of the advanced mover, then go for your loaded bear squat and then go into a front kick through with a little hop, which would look like this. Nice bear squat. Come forward with dynamic power, but then control the extension and then hop back. Versus stepping, removing, kicking, and stepping it back. Good. Hop. Hey, that burn. Quad burn. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck, man. Very nice. It burns. Woo! Rest down if you need to. Three, two, oh, and I thought down. it was over. Oh, man. Oh, man, oh, man. I'm getting there. Yeah, we are. That sweat is coming now. Okay. Turn another to break dancer. Remember, it's a continuous, flowy movement. Pick up the left leg, turn under, turn left, follow through with the kick, and return all the way to crab. So last time two, I was going alternating. One. Let's play and have a little fun. If you know what you're doing with your power, if you're, whoa. If you know what you're doing if you're with Paolo, if you're with me, come with me. Right leg under switch, left leg crab. I mean, uh, right down, sorry, I'm gonna give up here. Left leg under switch, right leg again. Good, now switch. Right leg under switch, so you're switching direction. Let's go. Good. Breathe. Taking my time within each rep. Finding the perfect position in between. Don't need to rush here. Just for being here, oh, yeah. you're already winning. I didn't make any Damn. sense in my cues. So if you got it, you got it, you know? <laughs> that was a bunch of spaghetti of words. That's okay. Okay. Okay, one round two is done. We got one more round to make one it perfect. More. If there is such thing, that's only the best some effort. Fun. Come on. Let's have some fun here. Let's go for that loaded beast to that front. Step, here we go. What? Oh, front step. Yep, she's right. And Slow it down. Away. Slow hips up. Slow hips forward. And then squeeze. Open up at the top. And then push through with a little speed on the way back. Right, load that bear, left, load that bear, hips come up, push that mobility, round out your spine, good, bring it back, ha. good, oh boy, ha. four, three, two, and one, okay, it's the leg burn nice. for me, son, all right, all right, shit is challenging, okay, grab kick, so we're gonna kick, kick, punch, punch. We're gonna go for control if you're with me on this one. And we're gonna hold each end point for a few seconds. So that crab kick, we're gonna hold and stabilize. It's easy to lift it up, but oftentimes it's fall down. So here, here we, we go. go. Left uh, arm, right leg, hold. Switch it over to the other side. Hold, hips are down, still down low. Left arm is on the floor, right arm is reaching. Push, push, push. Hold, bring it back with control. Same thing on the other side. Here we go. Up, hold, bring it back. Good. We got 10 to go. Switch, hold, switch, hold. Good. Reaching with that right arm. And now bring it back. Okay. Good stuff. Kick through. Okay. With that bear, look at us. Okay. Oh, they're on the, on the ground. ground with us here, chilling. All right, load a bear squat, and then into the kick through. Five seconds. Here we go. Then we rest up. Three, two, one. Here we go. It. Up. 
Keep your heels up. Notice how Hannah's adding the little hop. Looks pretty cool. She tempted to try. Fucking try it. Nothing wrong with that. What's gonna happen? You're gonna bust your butt on the ground, so what? Come on. 15 seconds. Slow it down at the end. Hold it. Let's go. Good. Good job. Yeah. Whoa, hello. Fuck. Three, two, uh, one. Hold. I recover. I man, like it. There's something to be said here. Every first workout of each week, we hit upper body strength, lift heavy weights. It's challenging on itself, of course. This is challenging on itself. My shoulders are burning. My quads are burning, toasted. My brain is fried. One more. Here we go. Last one. Three, two, go. Starting with the left. Come under. Stay tall. Hold that break dancer. I'm trying to stay here. Press down the floor. Create space between your shoulder and your ish. And if you have to take a second here, that's fine. I'm not worried about the reps here. I'm worried about having you under tension, wherever it is that we can get. One more. Four, three, last one. And recover. All right. Take a momento. Good job. Nice work. Okay. Jump up to your feet. Take a deep breath in and recover. Maybe we take a sip of water. Oh, We've yeah. got plenty of time here. Then we're gonna start some play time. We're gonna learn the flow. Then we're gonna put it together and complete four sets. Are you ready? Yep. Okay, so this next part is gonna be a beautiful animal or body weight flow. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna teach you how to do it. We're gonna break it up into little stages. We're gonna stack them on top of each other. We're gonna learn it on the right side. Then we're gonna repeat that exact same thing, but on the opposite side of the left. We're then gonna do four sets, but here's the thing. One set equals both right and left sides, then we'll rest as much as we need in between. Let's do it. You ready? Yep. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is a spinal wave. So we know that starts, hands on the floor, we drop our butt back to our heels. Raising those hips up nice and high, we're gonna curl and spinal wave the body forward, shoulders come beyond the wrists, open up the chest and look up to the ceiling. Then we're gonna take it back. So that loaded bear again. Then we're gonna go for a loaded jumping sprawl. Last week we saw a sprawl. We're gonna do the same thing, land on flat feet. However, this week we're gonna jump. And if a jump is not for you, you're just gonna come up and go for a calf raise. Then our hands come onto the floor, but we're not jumping our hips back to our heels. We're gonna just find ourselves in our regular bear crawl position. So our shoulders on top of our wrists and our knees are underneath our hips. From here, we're gonna go for one bear crawl up down. So forearm, forearm, hand, hand. Awesome. Let's take that from the top, and I'm just gonna cue them, and we'll put them together, and then we're gonna add on top of that. Are we ready? Perfect, let's get it. Here we go. Okay, spinal wave. Take it back. Loaded jumping sprawl. Find your back roll, down, down, up, up. Awesome, you can recover. Once you've done that down, down, up, up, we're then gonna go into a left turn under, which means we pick up the left foot, right arm, we turn it underneath us and land in our crab. Once we've landed in our crab, the last thing to go onto the floor was the left foot and the right hand. We're gonna go for a travel, which you may not have seen before, so I'll show you this way. So what that means is I'm gonna pick up my left arm and my right foot and I'm gonna step one foot forward and then another step forward. Once I'm done, now naturally the next thing that wants to come off is my right foot and my left arm. Then I'm gonna turn it underneath me again and find myself in my loaded bear crawl. Awesome, so let's take that from the bear crawl position. Boom. So here we go. I'll show you from here. Left leg turn under, two travels forward. We've got one, two, right leg turn under, pushing back into our loaded bear. Awesome. Great job. Once we are done there, we're already set up to do a step forward on that right. So we're loaded here. Then we step forward on the right. Awesome, now you may not have seen this before. Then we're gonna step it back, and now I'm almost gonna go for a knee to elbow, but I'm gonna raise my hips up high, picking up my right foot. So keeping it bent, keeping it bent, keeping it bent. Shoulders come beyond my wrist, knee is on the outside of my elbow, and then bring my eyes up to the ceiling, or to forward, sorry. Then we're gonna go ahead 
and bring it straight back. Okay. All right, let's do that again. Let's go from the back row up down. Let's get it. You ready? Uh huh. I may have given you a little bit of a wrong cue there, but we're gonna fix it on the way. So here we go. From our beast, left leg under to our crab. Step forward. One, two, right leg under to our loaded. Good. Now we're gonna go right side front, step it forward, and now bring the hips back. Now we're gonna slowly bring our knee to the outside of the elbow, give you eyes gazing forward. Now from here, rather than going all the way back, we're just gonna step this foot down like we would into a beast, and then we're gonna kick our left leg through into a break dancer. Then we're gonna go ahead and push it back and finish in this loaded bear again. Boom. Boom. So why don't we go from the top, and remember last week I told you, whenever we're learning, you can mark it, meaning you don't put 100% of effort in, just embed the movement pattern and, and create some memory. You ready? Yep, I'm doing that by keeping my knees on the ground whenever I need to. Cool, and I might do the same. So here we go. Spinal wave. Go. Hips up. Come forward. Bring it back. Good, loaded jumping sprawl. Into your bear. Down, down. Up, up. Left leg turns under. We step forward once, twice. Right leg turns under, push it back into your loaded bear. Step forward with the right foot. Boom, bring it back. Bring that slow knee to elbow, eyes forward. Now we're gonna put it right down underneath us, kick the left leg through. Then we're gonna pull it back and push back into our loaded. Yeah. Boom, that's it. You did it. You did it. Wow, guess what? Now we're gonna run through it on the opposite side. Once you've done that once, which we'll break it down, not too much, we've got four sets to get it right. Let's you ready? It. Let's get it, baby. Here we go, so load it. Spinal wave. Good. Eyes up, bring it back. Loaded jumping sprawl. Good, beast. Down, down, up, up. Good. Now we're going, right leg turns underneath to our crab. Step forward with the opposite hand and foot. And again, left leg comes underneath us. We push back into our loaded. Ooh. Step forward with that left foot. Bring it back. Knee to elbow on that left side, slowly. Good, don't bring it all the way back, put it down. Kick the right leg through. And now we push back into our loaded. Boom. That is both the right and the left side. Now, it yeah. begins. You ready? Yeah. So we're gonna try and make this look as sexy as possible. And remember last week we said to remember to laugh at yourself? Laugh at yourself if shit goes wrong, because it likely will, and that's okay. That's I'm gonna take a sip. All right, let's do it, my friends. Okay. Take a sip of room. Four rounds ahead of us. That's remember that each round is completing the whole thing on both sides. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, all right. Shake it off. Get your head in the right space. And let's do this. Three. Two, straight one. Forward. I'm gonna go straight forward. Spinal wave, go. Hips up, good, eyes forward. Bring it back, good. Jumping sprawl, back crawl, down, down. Up, up, leg underneath, step forward. One, two, right leg underneath into the loaded position. Right side front step, bring it back. Slowly bring that knee to the outside of your elbow, eyes gaze forward. Nice, now put it right underneath you. Left side break dancer. Good, push it back, load that beat. And again, spinal wave. Good, bring it back. We're beginning the new side now. Oh yeah. Jumping loaded sprawl, ha! Regular beast. Down, down, up, up. Right leg now comes underneath you. Step it forward, one. Two, left leg underneath you. Good, push it back. Front step forward, left, ha! Bring it back, good. Left knee to elbow, slowly. Put it down, right side break dancer. Good, push it back. Load it. Fantastic. Nice work. Good shit, okay. We're moving around. It's one down, let's take a break, shall we? Let's uh, unclog the mind, because it may be a lot like trying to connect the fuses right now and overdrive. And let's take a little bit of recovery and we'll do it again. Any cues you got for these guys? Three more rounds to go. Look guys, notice how we're moving around. We're starting right here and we ended up in the back of the room. You might need some more space around you, whatever you are. So clear it all up 
so you don't have to stop in the middle to move a chair, to move whatever it is that you're working with. Clear it up. And to help you with control, adding tension within our body helps really engage and create more control throughout our whole system. For example, when we go for our knee to elbow, point the toe that you're bringing forward, it almost adds tension, makes it more rigid rather than being all flimsy. Okay, add a little bit more finesse. Point the toe in the under switch. Point the toe on that side break dancer. Have some fun. There you go, baby. All right, you ready? Sure, yeah. Okay, here we go. Get back. Let's load that bear. You gotta start forward. Yeah? Yeah, because I, I ended all, yeah, I think so. All right, here we go, mm -hmm. load it. <laughs> Final wave. Put my knees on the ground, come on. Good, bring it back. Load a beast bro with power. Good, beast. Down, down. Up, up. Left leg comes underneath, put it down. Step forward once, twice. Right leg comes underneath, we push it back. Step forward with that right leg, power. Bring it back with control. Point the toe, bring the knee up, and to the outside of the elbow, eyes forward. Put it right underneath you, kick that left leg through. Good, pull it back, load the beast, we start again on the other side. Come Hips on. come up, spinal wave. Good. Bring it back. Nice work, load the beast, roll with power. Sha! Bear, down, down. Up, up. Right comes underneath you this time. Step forward once. Step forward twice. Left comes underneath you, push it back into that loaded. Left side front step, go! Ha! Bring it back with control. Point the toe, knee comes to the outside of the elbow. Eyes are forward. Come on. Put it underneath you. Right leg kicks through. Ha. You got it. From here, we bring it back, and then we push it back. Awesome work. Yes. Great job. One of these. Yeah. Woo, nice work. That's two down. We've got two more to go. How are you feeling? I'm out here, babe. A little bit more confident with everyone? Yeah, I'm liking it. I hope so. Good. It's taking time for me to register the very last movement. When I come back from the knee to elbow, I'm always forgetting to put my foot down. I wonder if it's happening with you too. So naturally, if we start in this position, our body wants us to go back to yeah. this position. But we're not, we're coming forward, then we're dropping it underneath so that we can go into our break dancer. All right, that's a little key for you. Okay. Only go back halfway, then put the foot down. Round three. All right, let's do it, shall we? Let's go for it. Okay, let's load it. Three, two, one. Slow on the spinal weight. <sighs> Powerful on the loaded jumping sprawl. <sighs> Slowly bring it back. Are you ready for power? Yep. Ha, go. Ha. Beast, <sharp> down, down. Down, down. Up, up. Left leg comes underneath you, put it down. Walk forward with control. Heel, toe. Right leg comes underneath you, we push it back. Good, step forward with right foot. Ha. Bring it back. Control right here. Knee to the outside of the elbow. Take it back halfway, put it down, kick that left leg through. Good, pull it back, push it back into that loaded. We're going on the other side, go for it. Slow spine away. Good. Take it back. Nice work, power right here, go, jump. Ha. Bring it back, down, down, up, up. Right leg comes underneath you, put it down. Control that step, one, two. Left leg comes underneath you, push it back. Step forward with the left, go, power, ha. Bring it back all the way. Knee to elbow, slowly. Take it back halfway, mm. kick it through on the right, yeah. And now load it again. Awesome work. Ah. You feel the tempo? Woo, we yeah. go slow, we go quick. And think about this in the next one. We're trying to imitate animals, right? This primal movement. When we walk, we go heel toe, heel toe, heel toe. When we're in our crab, we've got four, four legs. Two of them are our arms and two of them are our feet. So when we step forward, we want to accentuate the heel toe on the feet. But then you want to imagine that your foot is also, sorry, your hand is also a foot. So rather than going finger toes, fingertips to palm, we don't step like this. Right, I want you to imagine going palm to fingertip, like a foot, palm to fingertip. This is where total body control and awareness comes into play. This last one, let's make it sexy. If you want to levitate anything, if you want to jump with anything, if you want to add a little bit of your sass on there, do it and Sassifer. record it yeah. 
and then send it to us because we'd love to see. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's do this half drive. Load your bear. Go. Slow. <laughs> Hips come up. One inch at a time. Shoulders Last come one. beyond the release. Good. Chest up. Bring it back with control. We're going to go with power. Go. Jump. Ha! Bring it back down. We got down, down, up, up. We got left leg coming under, put it down. Remember, heel toe, heel toe. Right leg comes underneath us, we push it back to load. Step forward with the right and power, go. Ha! Bring it back. Control that knee to elbow. Slow, 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 slow. Eyes up. Bring it back halfway. Kick it with that left leg through. Push it back into the loaded. We're on the other side, here we go. Spinal wave. Slow and controlled. Eyes come up. Take it back now, y'all. Jump forward, go. Power. Beast. We got down, down. We got up, up. Right leg comes under us. We're going for those steps. One. Fingertips to palm. Two. Left leg comes underneath us. We push it back. Step forward, power, go. Ha. Bring it back. Knee to elbow, slow, 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 slow. Eyes come up, take it back halfway. Kick that right leg Ish. through, and now load it again. Ish. Very nice. Ah. Amazing. Woo. I am sweating. We did body it. shaking. Damn. We did it. We absolutely did do it. Great work. Remember, we're progressing every week. Some weeks you may just say some body weight exercises, but you're always gonna see a flow. So we did the movements last week. We did some combos this week. And stick around and find out what you're gonna see next week. Stick around and find out. <laughs> we like this saying, fuck around and find out. Yeah. That's what's gonna happen. Great work today. We're so proud of you. Don't forget to send us those videos. Comment below with what you thought, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for joining us.